Big week for the Bath Wildcats. The defending Division II state softball champs remained ranked fifth in the state this season. After picking up an easy win over Van Wert earlier this week to remain unbeaten in league play, the senior-laden team was tested last night home against state-ranked Crestview. With Cassie Best providing the walk-off RBI single in the seventh inning, a dramatic game you saw on WOSN. I understand there were some audio problems with the first airing that will be re-aired throughout this week. Well, the rest of the week doesn't get any easier for Bath. Wildkins at home for Elida and Shawnee, the two teams right behind the Kittens for first place in the WBL. Elida's Michaela Black will try and slow down those Bath bats. Top of the first, Black with a liner, but right at shortstop Kara Deansberger. Elida goes down in order. Bottom of the first two down for Bath. Julia Miller deep drive to center field, but it's not deep enough. Taylor Thompson makes the catch as Bath goes down in order. Top of the second, one away. Kylie Maxson blooper falls into shallow left field. A one out single for Elida. Next batter, Lydia Burnett, grounder to third. Courtney Hellman goes to first. They get the out. Maxson moves up to third, but she would be stranded there. So still no score in the bottom of the second. Runner on first, one away for Bath. Carly Fry, blooper falls into right field. The Wildkins with two runners on and just one away. But Black gets a big strikeout on Cassie Best, two away. Next batter, Abby Kozer. Grounder looks like it's going to be a base hit, but it hits the courtesy runner, Maddie Mooney. She is out. Inning is over. We're still scoreless. Bath would get the victory, though. 3 0 the final. That's 28 straight WBL regular season wins for the Wildkins.